Nothing about to know how to act, bro. Hold on. Fuck. Stand to RTG. My shit making dumb noise. That's my PS4 breathing. Fuck. Got my shit echoing OD right now. All right. So I'm about to send the link out right now. Um, I gotta send it to all teams. All right, I just sent that shit. I'm not starting shit till we make sure that every team got it. First and third. Second and fourth. Alright, so I don't know. Alright, alright, that was for a different game. Alright. Um so for this game, let me see the lineup again, because I lost it. For Team Richards. I actually didn't even see who who Elias was starting. I'm gonna assume he's gonna go with Creel and then play the rookie. Well Herm, the freshman, the high schooler, play him later on. For the Cowboys, they're gonna play Taj first. Alright, let's get into it. It's time, boys. It's time. We here. It's definitely time. I think I have Dante Smith in the game for the Cowboys already. But I'm going to take him out and put in Taj as requested. I know y'all probably hear the ambulance going by my crib. But it's the hood. So, y'all know how that go. Y'all definitely know how that go. Y'all know as well, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. We got the commentary. It's 10 viewers in here right now. Game ain't even start yet. I got to... We got to stop this before... Yeah. Alright, perfect. Yeah, so... Um, I'm going to hit up Elias right now, see who we want to start. Let me not expose the rosters. I'm going to hit him right now, Creel or Herm. See who we want to start at quarterback. But I know for a fact that uh, none wanted Taj in first. I hit him up. Uh, Elias ain't responding yet. I'm going to give him about like two more minutes. And then we just gonna run it with what we got. With what we know, at least. Oh, he just hit me too. He lucky. Oh, alright, so. Alright, so. Elias is gonna play Herm Jr. first. In a stunning change of events. With that being said, that means I gotta kick off. I ain't about to do no ESPN shit. I'm actually kick some valid shit. See, we got Chris Boyd back there. Hopefully, you just take the meat. Thank you. You're rocking the one. It's about to be a tough day. Chris Boyd's a returning player. Um, we got 11 viewers now. That's fucking tough. I appreciate the love y'all show, bro. No cap. Y'all show mad love. Y'all been showing mad love from the beginning with Sad Camp. It's it's real. I appreciate y'all niggas, bro. For no cap. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. It's enough talking. Let's get into it. All right, so as we see, we got Herm Jr. at quarterback. Let's see what goes on. 10-minute quarters. He already making throws. They got Zach Ertz. I meant to sit him. I think that's, that is what I'm going to do, actually. Yeah, I think he might be. I mean, Eldon Harrison got the tackle, so it might not even matter, but... Who do they who do they have that? Who's on their team? Hold on. So for the Eagles, they got Herm Williams right now. They got Elijah Swan at running back. I see. I think that's who they about to give it to. They do. He's breaking tackles, but he ain't about to break free. Um, they got Malcolm Thompson, who's a power running back. Chris Boyd, Devontae Jones, Kyson Carter. They got some pretty good options at uh in the receiving game. So I honestly might have to sit Zachers down uh for the fairness of how this is gonna go. That's what I'm going to do on this possession. Let's just see how it goes. So far, Herm Jr., his first couple of snaps. Obviously, we know who his dad is. Is That's a swap. I believe he was trying to go for Malcolm Thompson, but my fault, y'all. I just got to take Zach Ertz out so it's fair for the 
for the league because he's a 90 SOD uh, so we're gonna take him out I'm just gonna there we go all right yeah sorry about that we about to get right back into it right back into it is the game should be non-stop now except for halftime of course the game should be non-stop as we know um i believe it's um no nah, not even i believe but the teams that lose the teams that lose these next two games they're gonna play each other and then that's just for bragging rights honestly but the two winners play in the sad camp final and the winner of that the, uh, the best player from their team is gonna win sad camp mvp Last year, as you know, it was uh, Jamari Jones. He won our very first sack camp MVP, as that is Cameron Lewis with the carry from Oregon. I don't know where he's going next year, but I don't know where a lot of these guys are going next year. I think that's what makes this camp so special. At least so we know for the guys that are transferring, going somewhere else, uh, you know, they're going to be seen as Taj makes a kind of a crazy throw there. It's realistic, bro. It's realistic. It's realistic. This is what you see. And the actual sim is what you're getting right now. At least we know we're being realistic here, you know. I see Amari Harris in there. I see Bowman in there. Shout out to Bowman. We finally got him in the sad camp. Welcome, my guy. It's third and seven. A little play fake. Ooh. That is. Ooh. That is um Amari Wright. Amari, or Amari Wright with the uh, pass deflection on Amari Harris, number 14. He's going to be in high school this year. What a play. What a play. I like that. He reminded me of uh, Cash. So I, I like that play off rip as they punt it back. Herm Williams about to come out there. We got 12 viewers, 7 comments. Comments going crazy. But let's talk about uh, Amari Wright just getting that pass deflection on Amari Harris. Amari Harris is a pretty high overall in this camp. One of the best players in the camp, if you ask me. So that was that was a good play. That was a good play. High school is be on the lookout as Elijah Swan gets to carry. He's also a returning uh Sav Camp member. He was there last year. Put on a little bit of a show. Put on a little bit of a show. Didn't get as many carries though, because I believe his uh I forgot who was also with him on that team. I wanna say it was Devontae Bridges. I wanna say, but I don't know. He didn't get a lot of carries last year. Hopefully he gets some, you know, a good amount this year. Uh, none is coaching this team so far the playbooks look kind of conservative but Elijah is breaking tackles I think he might have a first down on that one third and inches good enough he was pretty good last year he didn't get a lot of carries but with the carries he did get he was making plays he was making plays so it's good to see him back and returning Elijah Swan is also going to be in the all-star game he's another one of those players that um, are going to play in both that's a huge deal. Chris Hampton, uh, you know, that announcement was made that he's going to be the first quarterback ever to play in both as Herm is looking, and he makes a throw. Woo! What a throw. What a throw. What a throw. He looking like Pops. He looking like Pops right now. I don't even know who the fuck this receiver is. My oh, they challenging it. What? They challenge their own shit. And then they got overturned. All right. So, all right, whatever, bro. I don't understand that logic. Great throw by Herm. There was a logic gets to carry. He's on the move, and he might be. Oh, he might. Woo. Good carry. Good carry. Like I said, he was here last year. He was pretty good. He's looking pretty good now, rocking the five. Another Stanford product. I'm telling you, the, pro the guys that's come out of Stanford or, or had some type of ties this there's all there's a lot of guys that's had ties in Stanford bro Stanford is a real decorated school as Sav Camp is being hosted here as well on the RTG page the Stanford RTG page I have found the password to this shit thought I lost this hole for a second as Malcolm, Malcolm Thompson gets his first carry a lot of these high school guys we don't really know like that so hopefully in Sav Camp they show they show their stripes they show what they made of, what they can do. Aaron Williams looking. Yo, he's making some good reads as he finds Bridges. He's making some good reads. Number five, that corner, that's J.J. Hart. Uh, returning Trotwood corner, I believe. Yeah, he came from Trotwood. I don't think I had him in my camp last year. I, I think I would remember it if I did, but I don't think I had him in my camp last year as he makes a tackle. Vontae Jones the second with an amazing catch. He looked pretty good this year. 
Her moving the ball down the field, my guy. Her moving the ball down the field is already. I might just want to get stuffed. It's a pretty good drive. I like the offensive call by none. It's a lot of handoffs, a lot of you know, a lot of passes when needed. Herm's converting a lot on third down so far, so that's that's pretty good. Herm looking real identical to his pops though. Real identical so far. And one drive. One drive that we've seen. That's what I love about Sav Camp. I'm the first. I'm the first that's really gonna allow you to see as Herm scrambles and goes down. But I'm the first look that you get at some of these new players. And so especially high school. A lot of these high school guys or well, famous college guys now was in Sav Camp before anything else. I'm trying to remember if Chris Hampton was in Sav Camp. I don't remember if he was. But I know we had some other quarterbacks and stuff like that that was in it that turned out to be stars within college football. As Herman's looking, he's going for Chris Boyd. He's going for Chris Boyd. He almost had that. Herman making some good throws. Herman making some good throws. Chris Boyd, another returning player, was a favorite for uh, an award uh, last year at Sav Camp, but kind of got snubbed out for another player. Let's see what he does this year. Is they're gonna take a field goal and they're probably gonna move the score up to three nothing. It's early. It's early. So far, a couple of teams already. Both teams had the ball, had the ball on offense and uh, didn't really do much. But it's three nothing. I've seen like three possessions from each team and it's already you know four minutes left in the first quarter. So we moving. We moving at a pretty steady pace. Moving at a steady pace. Pace real steady right now. I'm waiting for somebody to show their true colors in this camp. I want to see. Last year, I knew. I knew when Jamar, Jamari showed his true colors when he took home the MVP. He was starting to show his true colors because he had 102 games. And uh, I, think he had, I think he had a touch. I don't remember if he had a TD or not, but he had some yards. I think within the, the last two, I think he had like 300 within the camp. He was going sick. But let's see who shows their true colors in the camp this year as the Cowboys are about to get the ball back. Hopefully Taj is able to get something going. Last year when uh, we seen Kyler Waters with the Cardinals, we seen him kind of put the team in a bad hole in the first game. And then Grayson Pittman came in and it was kind of like trying to right someone else's wrongs. Hopefully we don't see that this year with Taj, uh, with Dante Smith coming in second. Kind of crazy that Dante Smith isn't starting right now, but we'll see what goes on as Bowman is going to get a motioned out screen and goes for negative four yards. Conservative, conservative. Don't really like the. Uh, I said none too for the play call for Philly. That play call was Elias, but I don't really like the play call from none. It's not really fitting Taj from the looks of it so far. But it's really not a lot you're going to find that fits a quarterback like him. You really don't know what his true build is. Cameron Lewis gets a carry. Four yards, something positive. something positive third and ten I think if this offense is going to stay as conservative as it is right now then I think Philly is going to end up walking with this one because uh, the Eagles moved the ball down the field quick quick and it was real decisive as Taj is looking and he finds Cameron Lewis but he's not really going to go that far is that that is Samari Wright again I think that's his second tackle and a pass deflection Amari Wright looking good so far in South Kent looking good so far Trying to make a name for himself. I like the energy. I hate to be sound like the type that's sponsoring, but stay tuned for that All-Star game later on. As we see the kick or a punt. Who they got back there? That's Chris Boyd returning. They really use him a lot. So I can't, he was, he was, uh, had that same workhorse load as uh, Sad Camp last year. He was playing all every position almost. As he gets a catch right there. And that's Kyson Carter. Kyson Carter back at wide receiver. He played corner at Alabama this year. One reception for six yards. Kind of showed out a little bit in Sad Camp last year at wide receiver. Made a, made a big catch or so. Uh, Eldon Harrison got three tackles so far. One of the best players in this camp. Eldon Harrison. Pretty good at Florida. That's her gives a carry. And that's going to be Elijah. JJ Hurd with the tackle. They better not let that man get room. They let, let, wow, watch. Keep letting that man run. 
trying to roll this J in, fucking watch this shit at the same time. This shit difficult as hell. And commentate, like, y'all niggas gotta understand, yo, what I do. We see her getting ready to take the snap, person 10. Little draw off to Malcolm Thompson. Good play. Two rushes, 12 yards. He a little slow. I'm gonna assume he powered. I'm gonna assume he powered. He a little slow. That's straight, though. He breaking tackles and shit. You can be slow if you're gonna break tackles. No cap. It's possible. Herm looking pretty calm. Pretty calm inside Kent so far. It looks like he's been playing his whole life. Who is that? I believe that is. Oh, no, that's JJ. Good catch. Good ball from Herm. So far, 104 total yards for Philly so far. Looking pretty solid. Little picks play to Elijah as he's breaking a tackle. Ooh, he's gonna break one. He's gonna break one. They keep playing with his top. He's gonna break one. He definitely about to break one. They keep yo. If he would have cut outside on this shit, he would have been out, bro. I think he went for the fancy. He went for the fancy move because he had side camp. So he tried to get, you know, shifty on niggas. But if he would have just went outside with that shit, he would have been going. So far, 3 nothing. Quick game so far. Quick game. Shit. Fucked up the roll. Too busy fucking talking, bro. Who's that? Malcolm Thompson? The carry. The lines are trash in this, this year. Like, the lines are pretty ass. So for Elijah Swan and Malcolm Thompson to be uh, this effective in the run game right now is, is kind of a shock to me because the Lions is really ass. I didn't even get the time to change that shit. I was going to see what was going to happen. If it was noticeably ass, like, all right, this is a problem. I don't know what I was going to do, but this don't look that bad. It's Herm makes a throw to Chris Boyd, and he has a first down. Herm so far is 6 for 8 passing, 75 yards. Smooth day. Cool comment collected in his first first actual drive within the RTG family. I'm getting some texts right now. I even I forgot I had a phone at this point. Um Alright. As y'all know too, as Malcolm Thompson is still moving. I I like it. I like this kid. I like him. And four carries, he already got 32 yards as his first and goal on the six yard line. Not the fastest guy, but look at him. Look at him. Not the fastest guy at all, but he's, you can see him. He's tall. And he being used really good in the power game. Is Elijah Swan is right back at running back. And he's looking for a carry. He gets the toss. It's a lot of tosses in this playbook. Definitely a lot of tosses in this playbook. But I mean, if it's working, you know, fuck it. Because Elijah Swan already almost took one to the crib. So. Team Elias looking to redeem themselves too as well. As they made the South Camp final last year, but took a, a, a tough L. To uh I believe it was Team Rob. Yeah, I had Rob in it this uh past year, but this year we got my boy Dunny Tootie a part of it. Actually, I think none was in this shit last year too. I believe so. He was in this shit last year. As the I seen Richards come out in a five wide. Herm with a lot of play call as he goes to Malcolm and he's gonna get tackled, brought down. Eight for 10, 78 yards for Herman's fourth and goal. They're probably gonna get another field goal. Uh, second quarter, seven minutes left. Dante Smith is gonna come in for the Cowboys or Team None, so so to say. He's gonna come in for them in the second half. Hopefully, it's more uh, production than what we've seen out of Taj and. In terms of moving the ball downfield, the Cowboys haven't even got on the Eagles side of the 50 yet. So, we're going to see what happens. Definitely going to see what happens. I know we hear another ambulance going by my house. Like I said, it's the hood. You know. 
It's not my fault niggas keep dying. So far it's six nothing. I'm trying to roll the fatty right now. But so far it's been Herm Herm Jr. real cool, calm and collected, my guy. Hasn't really got a lot of pressure. He got sacked once today, but uh he held the ball way too long in that situation, so that's probably why that happened. Other than that though, cool, calm and collected. Taj is back out there for his first, well, not really first drive, but, you know, his first throw up this drive as he go with a screen to Amari, and he's not going nowhere, nowhere at all. Taj has negative two yards as Amari is trying to get himself open, but he seems to be struggling. Something to watch for as well, too. Uh, Dante Smith is on this team, and Dante Smith and Amari Harris was teammates at East Lansing. So that's one, that's something to watch. I want to see if that connection is still there. Because uh, that was one of the best duels in high school as Taj gets smacked, but he's gonna find Jawan Williams What a throw by Taj Jawan Williams the high school wide receiver 6'5 speed guy as Taj is showing the pocket presence finding his guy Amari Wright was able to get into that tackle, but it was almost a 30-yard gain, so it was for nothing basically Taj showing promise with that throw as he's on the PA and he's still looking. What a throw. He finds this tight end who doesn't look like a tight end, but he's a tight end. Great throw by Taj. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Taj, if you're watching, which I know you are, great throw, my boy. Great ass throw. That is Calvin Kamara with the spin moves inside the inside the trenches. I just lost the J somehow, some way. Oh, I see it. We hit 12 viewers, 11 comments. It ain't no real time in Sav King. It ain't no real time. I cannot. If this got 11, I cannot wait to see what the All Star Game is getting ready to do. But I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Ooh, Taj hits Amari Harris. They move up to the nine yard line. Taj is six for eight, 63 yards. He's starting to get heated up a little bit. It was starting slow. Taj was looking like he was getting ready to give us the same typical Taj situation as Amari Wright. The second gets in there for another tackle. He's active. He's active today. I'll give him that. Um, I just got word that the playoffs for pros is getting ready to kick off right now. Uh, I don't know if it's right now as we will see. Ah! Who gets the first TD for Sav Camp is that is Calvin Kamara getting another carry. But I believe the uh, Bills and the Texans are getting ready to ball out right now in a divisional round. Winner goes to the AFC Championship. Um, I don't know if the Colts are playing today, but who knows. So far in Sav Camp, we are on the one-yard line as Taj is looking to throw. And he kind of does a little fast move out the pocket, but now he's holding the ball too long. Oh! He was looking for Bowman. He couldn't get him, though. It's third and goal. Great goal line defenses from both teams. It's still 6 0. Taj getting a lot of time to throw, which I don't understand how, but he's getting a lot of time to throw. Bowman tried to improvise, but he just got to hold on to the ball at that point. I say, look at that matchup. Uh, Mari Wright versus Mari Harris on the left side, bottom screen. Taj is looking, looking, and he's getting ready to go down, so it won't be a TD for a team. None. Team Elias holds up with the play as Taj is going to go down for a sack. Did what he could. Got him to the one yard line. Still a great drive. And it's not really like uh, Team Richards has done a lot of scoring. So, you know, let's see. It should be 6 3. As we see, Dante Smith is the placeholder for this possession. It is now 6 3. Team Elias is up. Like I said, Team Elias made the SAF Camp Final last year. Unfortunately, they walked away empty-handed. I hear, uh... What team am I on? 
I'm getting messages and stuff from people on the All-Star game. Please stop asking me what team you're on for the All-Star game because that is going to drop. I'm waiting for the edit. I've said this. Please stop asking me that shit. Waiting for the edit. For right now, let's enjoy. Let's enjoy the youth. Enjoy the youth players right now. I got the All-Star game. The All-Star game will be will be ready when it's ready, my nigga. You know what I mean? It's 3.42. I think I just seen Ashton Cole Pepper asking what position he was going to play. He's going to play running back. I was told that he was going to be playing running back. If I knew that he was at quarterback or wanted to stay at quarterback, I would have put him at quarterback. Niggas told me he was playing running back. So, I don't know. That's why I didn't have him in the All-Star. If he was playing quarterback, he would have been in the All-Star game. But now we're too far in the year. Well, not the year, but we're too far in Sad Kent for me to take Chris out and put Ashton there. We're too far. It's too... It's, we're too deep in. I don't think Ashton is in the All-Star game, which is unfortunate. But at the same time, I feel that he wasn't in the All-Star game because I have other running backs that played the running back position last year in college that I felt should be in the game. As it is now second one. Well, it's a loss, so it's third and 14. Right, somebody else just asked me the same shit. Stop asking me about the All-Star game. The All-Star game will drop when it drops. I think whoever asked me that shit was watching. Ooh, as Herm is looking and that is finna be. Ooh, he is lucky. He went after Chris Boyd, but my 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 slime JJ Hart and my other slime Eldon Harrison was there to make sure Chris Boyd walked away empty-handed. JJ almost took that and so did Eldon. They almost took that shit. That's why they play in defense, because they can't catch. But on the bright side, they made the stop. It's 4th and 14, and they're about to punt it away. We'll see two more minutes of Taj. As that is Jawan Williams back there. That looked like face mask. What the hell? It is face mask. All right. Great. First and 10. Super Taj is out there at quarterback. Minute and 54 left. He's looking to throw. He's looking to throw. He has Jawan Williams. 7 for 10, 68 yards for Taj. Not the most exciting day for my guys, but, you know. Slow grind, as they say. As my retired friend would say. Taj looking. He finds Bowman. Bowman gets his first catch of Sad Cam, and it's a first down. Minute and 24. Best case scenario for Taj is that he goes out with the, with uh, Team None in the lead. Best case scenario for Taj. I think if Taj scores on this drive right here alone, even if he ties it up, even if he ties it up, that's 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 huge for him. That's huge. It's for him to hold his own in this Sad Cam and to be able to play with how he's playing right now will be huge. So if he can get the lead, which oh. What a throw. What a throw. Bowman gets his second catch. 38-yard line. They're calling the timeout. Good clock management from Coach Nunn. Still 6-3. Sav Kemp is always kind of low scoring. Unless, you know, you're a coach robbed and you just put up 30 in the entire camp. That's why he's not in that shit this year. He Plus, he got a, he got a big game of his own today. So we didn't have Coach Rob. We left the champ out of this one. He might be here next year. Taj is on the center looking for the throw. Bowman gets his third catch. I think he went to Bowman three straight times now. Luckily, late addition to Sav Camp, but definitely not uh, not useless to this offense. He's definitely four catches. Four catches, 21 yards. Like I said, best case scenario for Taj is just either tying the game or giving him the lead. He's got him in field goal range so far. They use the timeout. There's 52 seconds left. Let's see if Taj got that that dog in him to take the lead instead of go for the field goal. He's looking to throw Bowman again. He's got him. Five catches, four straight from my boy Josh Bowman. As he got some drip today. He got some drip. I know y'all see his drip. My boy Bowman got drip. I know y'all heard my lighter click. I already know what time it is out here, boy. Taj looking. Oh, risky, risky, risky. That is Amari Wright again making a play on Amari Harris. 
I like, yo, Amari Wright, I like him. I like him. I like that build. 6'3 guy, but he can definitely cover. Our uh, last 60 safety that we saw was Matrix. And although Matrix was pretty good in uh, high school, hasn't really been the best at Alabama, but we'll see as the time goes. Fourth and three, great play by Amari Wright is going to keep this game tied up. 23 seconds left in the second quarter. And y'all know the rules. Y'all know the rules to Sav Camp. Uh, you got to play a quarterback for two quarters, and you got to play the backup so the backup gets an opportunity. So, from what we've seen so far out of the quarterbacks, not, not bad for me. The one, Taj, didn't have a TD. Herm Jr. didn't have a TD. Out of the two, I would say Herm Jr. kind of outplayed uh, Taj in a little, in a way, in a sense, they did move the ball down the field more times, but it kind of really don't matter seeing that it's 6'6", and they both got the same amount of points, kind of kind of the same amount of yardage. I think Herm got a little bit more. But uh, it's 19 seconds left within the uh, first half. Pretty good start to Sav Camp already. I'm excited for Team Ramsey versus Team Tootie. I'm real excited for that because I want to see Chris Hampton and Bradley Sexton. I definitely want to see Bradley Sexton because he's been out for a year. And he was one of the best quarterbacks in college last season alone with Rob and all them guys in college still. So I'm excited for that. But right now we're about to get the quarterbacks changed because I know uh, I can change. I can only change Creel from where I'm at from this from this standpoint, right? Yeah. Alright. But y'all know the rules. We putting Creel in. Now I'm about to put Dante Smith. It'll be some crazy shit if all of a sudden uh then I gotta call a play. Actually nah, I just go on the super sim, let a play happen and then fucking Alright, yeah, yeah, I already did the controller select too. Not for y'all. That is Creel, as we see. Number seven is Justin Creel. Let's see what he does today. He gets a little quick hand throw to Elijah. Elijah is going crazy, bro. He's not playing with y'all little niggas. I'm trying to tell you. As we will see a timeout. And now I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do have control over Dallas. So let's get into it. We're going to see Dante Smith enter the game. I'm excited to see him. My Florida guy. I've gotten to talk to him a couple times. Uh, somehow, some way, I ended up in the Florida group chat, so I got to talk to Dante Smith a little bit. Um, I got to coach against him. He was pretty good at East Lansing. Pretty good at East Lansing. As Creel is getting ready to go down, I think he held the ball just to let the quarter run out. To be honest, that's really what Sim typically does. But uh, we're we're gonna see more Creel. That's not, you know, I'm pretty sure that's not the highlight of his day. But we're gonna go into the third quarter. The score is six six. Great first half from Taj. Great first half from Hearn Jr. But we need to see some more points on the board. We need to see some more points on the board. And hopefully with the new quarterbacks coming into the game, Creel, Dante Smith, as Dante Smith is actually going to touch the field first. Hopefully with the new guys, we'll see some changes. J.J. Hart is bringing the ball back. He's bringing the ball back. And he's about to return into the crib. Is he going to the crib? He's going to the crib. Okay. My boy J.J. Hart takes it to the crib for the first TD of Sad Kid. That's crazy. So we won't even see Dante Smith. He won't even see Dante Smith come out onto the field yet because J.J. Hart is taking it to the crib for the first TD of Sad Kid. The first TD of Sad Kid is a kick return to the house. I fuck with it. I said, who's going to show that dog? Who's going to show it? And of course... Of course it was a heart. Of course it was. Why wouldn't it be a heart that, that, that shows they stripes, yo? I love it. Good shit from JJ Hart bringing it to the crib. I know some players is watching. Some coaches is watching. Like, oh, shit. That was huge, though. Respect to my boy JJ. That was huge. As we know, all highlights of Sav Camp uh, will be posted. The ball gets kicked off, and Chris Boyd is going to take a knee.
That was clutch. I'm looking at that shit right now. That shit was clutch, boy. That shit was fucking clutch. That was hard. My fault, y'all. I'm not saying shit. I'm fucking posting the highlights now to Sav Cam. I'm a one-man army, bro. Definitely a one-man army. Krill is looking. Looking to throw. He finds. Who is that? That is Devontae Jones the second. That shit was hard, bro. To the fucking crib. heads right now Justin Creel is gonna go down I know I got hyped on that shit I was hyped that I wasn't expecting that shit and he was running slow as hell I ain't gonna hold you he was running slow as motherfucker I, I, he got tired after like once he got down to like the 40 the other 40 he was tired as hell Little quick throw. That was huge though. JJ, if you watching this shit, if you hearing me right now, that shit was huge, dog. That shit was huge. Good shit. As Justin Creel really can't find anything going. JJ Hart helped put none over Elias. That that was fire. That was fire. Dante Smith with his first drive. He finds Amari. I told y'all that connection. Watch that shit. That connection is there still. They a little bit older now, but that connection is still there. I know y'all heard that lighter click again, bro. Feel me? I ain't even get a chance to take the hit. I was getting ready to take a hit at a J. JJ decided. Get it? JJ decided to take that shit to the crib. 13 viewers. All of a sudden, Amari right with another tackle. Dante Smith looking. He gives it to camera. Three rushes for 15 yards for my boy Camera or Camara, whatever you want to call my man's. Look like Camera to me on the back of the jersey. We got my boy Smitty at QB. As he goes with the handoff to Cameron Lewis. And Cameron Lewis! Cameron Lewis is gone! He's see you later. Cameron Lewis, the Oregon product, is taking it to the crib. As Team Nunn is getting ready to go up in a sudden change of crazy ass events, they have put up 20 unanswered points. Cameron Lewis takes it to the fucking Baja. The motherfucking Baja on these niggas. If y'all didn't know there is cussing inside camp, if I get copyrighted, them niggas can suck my dick, bro. Cause that's some bullshit. Camp front. Sav camp ain't even huge like that for all that, bro. I got copyrighted for last year's Sav Camp because of the music in the back. I'm like, come on my nigga, nobody listen to that bullshit. Who is it? That hundred yard dash song, my nigga, nobody listen to that bullshit. Niggas copyrighted me for that whack ass shit. I had got the email about it, so these niggas about to ban me. But it's now 20 to 6. If y'all wonder why my voice changed, y'all know why, my nigga. The J has now hit the esophagus. Pause. We kicking off. Chris Boyd back there. He's going to take it out this time. He running slow as a motherfucker, but it's cool because JJ is also slow as hell. Q 
Cameron Lewis said, you know, I'm just going to make a call to the house. So, Justin Creel is looking to throw and he's got Chris Boyd. Oh, if he would have broke that tackle. If he would have broke that tackle. Cameron Lewis, if you're here right now, I don't know if you are, but if you are, great run. Great run. Runs like that is how you walk away with Sav Camp MVP. No cap. The winner of this will be in the Sav Camp Final, just to let y'all know. If y'all don't know the severity of these games, winner goes to the Sav Camp Final. Elijah Swan is going to go down. Who is that? Ah, uh, CPU. Shit is taking a turn of events. Justin Creel, he's starting to get a little hot. Just a little bit. Just a little bit as he finds Chris Boyd. And Chris Boyd is on the run. J.J. Hart brings him down. Chris Boyd starting to show that uh, workhorse ability that he has. looking he's gonna go down yeah he's going down hold on my guys I'm making a post right now Malcolm Thompson gets the handoff it's not looking good for team Richards right now it's suddenly it suddenly it was looking like they were just trying to come in with the conservative uh, clock management type playbook but it's hard to clock manage when you got the other team on offense you know taking it to the crib and then you got JJ going in you know it's tough Creel ooh, ooh Creel is tweaking Creel is tweaking for that one viewers is going crazy right now I appreciate the love as always and like I said the year 9 ESPN RTG all-star game will be after all these games and after we determine who our SAF camp MVP is actually I'm not even gonna give SAF camp MVP until like I don't know but whoever wins SAF camp MVP if you're not in the all-star game you're in the all-star game if you win SAF camp MVP if you're not already in it Dante Smith is out there as he gives it to Cameron Lewis again and he's oh my gosh they better stop playing with that boy 15 yard face mask so they're gonna move up even more as this game is starting to take a turn it's starting to take a turn it was looking like it was gonna be some slow scoring shit real quick we see an otherwise Dante Smith is looking oh that was fucking crazy what the hell he had his man's uh, Jawan Williams Jawan, I don't like that. I'm about to start calling. I'm about to start calling that man's Juju. That's Juju Williams now. I don't understand the J U J U shit. You might as well be Juju then. I forgot to make the stadium at uh, Stanford Stadium, which is the Ram Stadium. In this, Calvin Kamara is going down. If y'all are enjoying Safkin, please leave this shit a like. Dante Smith is looking. He finds his tight end, but he steps out of bounds. It's going to be a four-yard gain. They're not, they're not in the worst spot right now for that to happen, so a punt really won't hurt. It's third quarter, two minutes left in it. But Team Rich has got to step shit up right now. They got to step shit up. Ball is going to go to the 20 yard line. It's first and 10. Justin Creel is back out there. And the quarterbacks today really ain't been doing much. 
Not much. But the running backs. The running backs is where it's at. Because look at Elijah Swan over here getting these carries. 14 rushes, 68 yards. Third quarter. He's a workhorse. He's the same thing that you see right now. You see at Stanford, bro. This is realistic if you ask me. All the guys that I'm seeing right now is doing realistic shit. Which is, I like, I like realistic. I felt last year was pretty realistic as well. As Justin Creel comes out with them big ass uh, spats on. He finds Chris Boyd. Chris Boyd's working today. He's working. He cares. He, he got hurt. I just seen my boy Hollywood text. Shout out to Hollywood. Shout out to JJ Hart. My boy is hooping. My boy had that little kick return. The first TD of Sav Camp is a fucking kick return. Who would have thought? Only Sav Camp would bring that type of production. As Creel is looking, he has to run. Ooh, he finds a comeback. Devontae Jones the second on JJ Hart. JJ Hart is getting tackles, but it's not a good sign when you get the tackle after big games. As Devontae just leaves him on that comeback. Leaves him. Devontae, one of the best route runners in college football. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't know if that's his actual build, if that's what he wants to be. But he got some sharp ass route running as Creel runs the PA. And it might be sad if he can't find nobody, which he can't. And this is the problem that he has at Miami. He holds the ball way too long and he's not running it today. He's just not running today. Don't get me wrong. Don't hit me with that bullshit, my nigga. I got his trait set to be doing some running shit. So if he going down like this, I undo me. It is now second and ten. They give a handoff on second and something. They on second and long, they give a handoff to the power back. So I'm not really a fan of this Richards playbook no more, bro. I'm really not. I'm really not. I've seen better called. And I'm not liking this shit. They're on the 40 yard line. Certain I like when they pass the ball and Creel actually throws it. But when they're running the ball sometimes, as Creel is going deep for it. Woo! And that's on JJ Hart, my boy Chris Boyd, with the catch. You better stop playing with that man. Stop. <laughs> Yo, JJ over here getting done dirty this drive. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Ain't even gonna lie to you, getting done dirty. Devontae killed him on the comeback. Now Chris over here getting getting mingy. Love to see it. Chris Boy got five receptions for 99 yards. Why didn't Creel throw it to Chris on it again? And JJ Hart over there talking shit. I know y'all see him. Uh, yo, I'm about to get that. I, hold on. I, for Sav Camp purposes. Actually, nah, I can't even do it. Y'all gonna see. Look at JJ on the top of the screen talking his shit. I'm gonna get that picture, bro, because that sack is gonna get recorded. I'm gonna get that picture. We seeing a yo JJ and Chris over here going at it. What's going on? Niggas start fighting this F camp. This shit canceled. No cap. I niggas not about to get me. You know, no bullshit for nothing, bro. What's fire is that they were teammates. So, right now, I'm pretty sure it's just competitive vibes all around. You know, Sav Kim, it's important as they're going for the. Oh my goodness, Devontae Jones is filthy for that. Why? Why would you play with him? With one hand, though! With one hand! Oh, yo. Why y'all trying to go crazy at Sav Kim this year, bro? It's now 20 to 13. Philly's not out of it, but the kick is blocked. And who's about to pick it up? Okay. That's safe. That's pretty safe. Not the worst thing in the world. Kicker needs to hurry the fuck up. That's roughing the kicker. What the fuck? All right. For some reason, some of my uh, penalties aren't the same. I don't know. What a throw from Creel though. I'm watching this shit back right now. What a throw. What a throw. I got to show the respect when it's dead. That's money. When 
when I get quiet, y'all, that's because I'm making the post, bro. But shit's smacking right now. Sav Camp is fucking smacking right now, bro. Don't get me wrong. So far, so good. Dante Smith is looking. He got Jawan. He got Juju. So we're going to call him now. We got my boy Juju Williams with the catch. He's doing pretty good today. Pretty solid. Cameron Lewis. A little quick game. He got five rushes, 89 yards in the TD. That's making the most out of your carries, bro. Cam Ooh. Ooh. Stop playing with that boy. Stop playing with that boy, yo. It's 408. What time did we start the first game? Like 3.30 or something, bro? I, it can't be 3.30. It had to be like 3.10. If we're already in the fourth quarter, the game about to be over as that is camera again. He got six rushes for 30 yards. Savkamp is big this year. I wanted to make a page for Savkamp. Luckily, Juco did some wild, crazy shit to me, so I was able to flip this shit. It worked out in the end. Six minutes, 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter as they... Ooh, that's Ricky Simpson! Cameron better chill, boy. Ricky Simpson, the OSU product with the, the haymaker. Oh, my God. Second and eight. I might have to get that. That's a lay. That's a body, bro. That's a yard. Is Cameron Lewis has seven rushes for 92 yards in the TD. Looking like a pretty good favorite right now. Pretty good. Pretty good. A consideration for the MVP. Consideration. The AFC Championship is live at 6, by the way, y'all. If y'all want to tune into that. Ooh! Shawan Williams with the Moss, but it's still fourth down. Giving the Eagles the ball back. And from what I'm seeing from Krill right now, Krill, Krill threw the first touchdown of the day. It's 12 to 20, but keep that shit in mind, bro. He threw the first TD of the day, regardless of what the lead is. Don't even think about... The wins and losses, because at the end of the day, every team is going to play twice. You feel me? So don't even think about wins and losses in this shit. Just your your performance is what matters. Feel me? So Krill having the performance that he having right now is pretty good. Win or lose. As he looks to throw, he got sacked. He's going to get sacked again. He gets holding the ball way too long. When he throws the ball, it's money. He needs to just continue doing that. When he's holding the ball, it's, it's, it's never good. Look how long he's holding it. Throw that shit away. Ain't shit open, throw it away. Second and 20. Four minutes left. Krill has to do something to put his team up as he goes to Malcolm Thompson. Krill's 9 for 10, 147 yards in a TD. Getting hit, but you see the passing stats, bro. QBs that can get smacked around and still complete like this is, is good guys to have. Which makes me wonder about Miami, bro. It makes me wonder, just was it Miami that was making him ass? Because he wasn't trash in high school. The line is pretty bad in Philly. He's holding the ball way too long, yeah. But I think that's going to change over time with Sav Camp as it's fourth and six. He goes to Devontae Jones, who already has a TD. Six receptions, 76 yards. I can't. I got to remember to get the stats from the games. Niggas don't let me forget that shit. Okay. I'm probably going to record it anyway. They're going to punt. It's three minutes left. So I'm pretty sure the Cowboys are going to try to just come out and run the ball. But if shit get real and they get in the third down territory and it's third and long, as that is a bad kick, that's going to be to the 
basically a touchback. Dante Smith comes out. Three minutes left. He got to keep them up. As long as he manages the game, I think, you know, it's a, it's a dub. Incomplete. He's four for six, 29 yards. I, I say given the situation that he's coming into the game in with them already having a 20 to six lead. Um, conservative isn't the worst situation for Dante Smith, but, you know, hopefully he doesn't start turning the ball over. Mari Harris is lined up, bottom of the screen. Bowman's in the slot. As it is a PA, Dante Smith on the rollout, and he's going for Amari. Connection still there. That's a 13-yard gain, 5 for 7, 42 yards for my man's Dante Smith. As Amari Harris gets himself involved a little bit, 4 receptions, 42 yards. Nice little spin move. So I forgot to tell you, I don't know, bro. A nigga forgot to eat before South Camp again, bro. So, and I'm high as hell. Niggas hungry. You know how to go. Dante Smith looking. And he is, that's not a first down. It's probably inches. It's second and inches. Two minutes left. I need to see a little bit more uh, urgency from Team Richards. I think they're going to let this shit go on a two-minute warning. But if they're letting this shit go on a two-minute warning, you're letting these niggas get downfield. That's not helping. Y'all got to get stops. What, what, what a ball is that, bro? You think it's cheating, bro? Ooh. Say it ain't so. That's the dagger. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Dagger. God damn. God damn. That boy none. I'll tell you one thing. His, his that Russian game. That Russian game looked like crazy. He said he said that he had uh Taj. So he was gonna come into this shit. I should have known he was gonna come into this shit conservative when he picked Taj. But I, I like the run game. Run game fire. That was a dagger though. Calvin, Kamara, Cameron, whatever you want to call them is. With the... Oh, shit. A kid just screamed and scared the fuck out of me, bro. I ain't even expecting that shit. I was getting ready to call it in, bro. I never saw him yet. That shit sounded like a helpless cry for help. I gotta get that shit recorded. 27-12. Two minutes left. Calvin Kamara breaks the game wide open. Takes it to the crib, holding the ball with two hands the whole fucking time. What a goat. I'll tell you one thing, bro. Amari ain't doing shit, but he sure is celebrating with everybody. <laughs> that nigga's in every celebration, bro. That's a real nigga. Yeah, I respect it. That's... Oh! Wow, bro. This is what we doing? Dirt bikes driving by my crib and shit, fucking up the live. Krill looking to throw. Eleven for twelve, hundred and fifty-eight yards on the TD. Not a bad day for Krill, if you ask me. Not a bad day, but uh, very conservative. And then my boy Calvin Kamara with the dagger. looking and he's got Devontae you know you know that's toe tap Devontae bro I forgot his at Creole goes to Malcolm Thompson, getting to see some of the new guys. I feel like after a while of the game going on, you start to like get get accustomed to the new guys that you see. No cap. Cause at first it seemed weird. Like some of these guys, I know y'all probably seen it was like, all right, who the fuck is this? But nah, I feel like they starting to grow as they do shit. As Creole is going down, and now honestly, that's really gonna do it, bro.
I think they letting me post this shit with no tags. Yo, I think I'm so like active. They're banning me from ooh. <laughs> okay. I see the vibes. I see exactly what time you want today, Kaisen, bro. I see exactly what fucking time you want. You over here putting nuts on people's heads, bro. I see exactly what time you want today. They're telling me that they're restricting me from tagging people to protect the community, bro. What what have I done? I've done nothing to y'all. Who reported me? Is that what this is? These niggas really prevent me from alright bro. Ooh. Alright, so Kyson decided. Yo, Creole is not having an ass game if you really think and look at it. Okay, my nigga, I looked at that shit. Invite friends, come on now, I don't got doing too much. No! Why it's a mess? What the fuck? Creole looking to throw, he's got Malcolm Thompson. That's probably gonna be game, bro, unfortunately. Definitely game. I'm trying to see if my page not being set up is why they're not allowing me to tag people right now. So I'm about to do it right now. Nah, they still talking about some fucking community bullshit. The hell? So don't even get, don't even worry about what the fuck Madden talking about player of the game. Obviously he had four sacks because Creel decided to hold the ball all fucking day. So that obviously played into it being a problem. But overall, my nigga, I don't know who to even say was MVP of this game, bro. This this was a good ass game. This was a good ass game. As Team Richards is about to go into the L column and play the L team after Ramsey and Tootie uh, play. But uh, this was a lit ass. This to start off that this was fire. Let's let's get into the stats. We about to get into the stats. First of all, I don't want to do both. I want to do one team at a time. Nah, let's do Eagles first. Bro. Let's do Eagles first. All right, so Krill had 16 for 17, 212, and a tud, which isn't ass to me. That's a fire-ass game if you ask me. Herm Williams was 8 for 11 for 78 yards. That's that's decent. It's all right. All right. Elijah Swan had 14 for 68. Malcolm Thompson had 8 for 35. Uh, Devontae Jones had seven receptions for 89 yards and a tut. Chris Boyd had five receptions for 99 yards. Kyson Carter decided to have two important ass catches with 10 seconds left in the game. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Amari, Amari Wright the second. He didn't go to Wyoming. I don't know why that's there. It's that it's a edit issue. Seven total tackles, a tackle for loss, um, two pass deflections. That's a pretty good game, you know, he, for his very first game a part of the family, that's a pretty good game, bro. That's solid. Who else? Uh, Ricky Simpson from Ohio State. Four tackles, tackles for loss. No pass deflections, nothing like that. Nothing crazy, but, and uh, let's see. That's pretty much it for Philly. Let's go to the Cowboys. All right. So, Taj was 11 for 15 for 73 yards. Not bad at all. It's not. Dante Smith was 6 for 8 for 52 yards. Um, Cameron Lewis was 7 rushes for 92 yards and a tud, which is fire. And then Calvin Camera, Camera, Camara, whatever you want to call him, has 7 rushes for 87 yards. He also had a TD. The game winning TD, if you ask me. That broke the game. Uh, Bowman had 5 catches for 26 yards. Amari Harris had uh, 4 catches for 42 yards. Juju Williams, four receptions, 49 yards. And Cameron Lewis had a catch 
Nobody had a TD receiving. Nobody threw a touchdown on offense for uh, Team None. It was all rushing. Uh, JJ Hart, nine tackles. Nine tackles. And uh, no pass deflections or anything like that. I've seen him have pass deflections in this game, though, so that's kind of cap. But nine tackles within the game. And Eldon Harrison also had nine tackles. Uh, he had no pass deflections either, which is that also might be cap because I feel like I've seen him with one, too. But uh, JJ Hart, as y'all know, had a kick return to the crib for 96 yards, actually. I thought it was one on one. I seen him in the end zone when he took that shit back, to be honest. I don't know. I'm high. I don't know what I saw bro, at this point. But that's basically it for Coach Nunn versus Coach Riches. I forgot. I got it in the live because, one, I made the title name, so I got to make a different title name. And, two, I got to get pictures from the game so y'all can get dripped out in, you know, the Savage Camp Attire, of course. So. I'm going to end this, and then we're going to be right back with uh, Team Ramsey versus Team Tootie. I'm going to get their playbooks, and then we about to be ready to go for the next game. This was a great-ass first game for the Savage Camp. Appreciate y'all that came in and watched. And until next time for the next game, we'll be live in like 10, 15 minutes.